Hi, I'm Jill Chivers from Shop Your Wardrobe. And I'm Imogen Lamport from Inside Out Style Blog. And we're going to be talking in this short video about colour and colour systems. When I first learned about colour about 12 years ago, the four um, seasonal grouping of colour systems like this, summer, winter, spring and autumn, was one of the main colour systems that was being taught. And one of the things that attracted me to Imogen's work was the fact that she understands colour in such detail and her work has evolved beyond just those four categories. Can you tell us a little bit about your colour system? Sure Jill. Well I'm actually using a system that has 18 groups and I actually developed it along with my business partner because we'd been using other systems and we kept doing colour analysis and felt we had to put people into groups rather than having a group that really fit them. Yeah. And so we found, like with the Four Seasons, that there weren't enough muted groups. That people are actually, we're not peacocks, we're not tropical fish, we don't have super bright colouring. Yes. And the seasonal groups tended to be really quite bright, and even the muted ones weren't particularly muted. Yeah. Um, and I know that over time that the seasons have been expanded to, you know, between to 8 and then 10 and then 12 groups. But we still felt there were groups missing. Yeah. And so we actually went back and looked at um, Albert Munsell's theory of colour yeah. and just looked at the properties of colour. So there's three major properties of colour. There's light to dark, yes. there's warm to cool, yes. and there's bright to muted. Yes. And so it's, are you lighter or darker? So if we look at you, Jill, you're yes. lighter. Yes. Look at me, I'm darker. Yeah. Even though we both have fair skin, mm. but particularly with Caucasians, it's hair colour yes. that comes into play because that's 75% of what we see when we're seeing colour. Yeah. Then we look at the warmth and the coolness. Mm. So if you have more keratin in your skin, you're more likely to be warmer. If you have less, you're more likely to be cooler. So you're warm and I'm cool. Yes. And then we have the brightness or the mutedness. And that is how kind of the intensity, the saturation of the colour, or if you really need the more grey down or smoky colours. Yes. Now this changes as we age. Mm. When we're young, we're at our brightest. Yes. We've got the brightest coloured eyes, we've, we've got the most pigment. And we always notice that as our hair goes, as my son says, light black. <laughs> That we notice that losing its pigment, but we don't notice that our skin's losing pigment and our eyes are losing their pigment too. And so what happens as we get older? And this is why when you see women and they've dyed their hair back to what they call their natural colour yes. and it doesn't suit them anymore and it looks harsh, it's because their skin no longer has those same bright pigments as it used to have and it's got softer. So we need to tone the mutedness of our colours down as we age. And that's one of the things I liked about the example that you used, that when you were younger your hair was black and yes. now it's a version of dark brown. But the effect is that it's much more flattering on you, even though your hair still looks very, very dark. Yes, and it is dark, but it's actually four shades lighter yeah. than it was. Yeah. And my hair is really quite grey. It's scarily grey. <laughs> my kids insist on diet, because yeah. they say grey is for greys. Right. <laughs> so, but I've noticed that as you know, time goes by, I have to every now and again go, no, it's looking too harsh, I need to lighten it up a level. Yeah. And in fact, the levels that are in hair dye systems is the same Munsell-based theory that I use in the colour system. Yeah. So, you know, light colours are up near, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11. Dark colours are in the 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. And my hair is actually a 4. It's yeah. not a 1. It used to be a 1. Yeah. And so you would encourage people, if people are trying to get like a fundamental understanding of their own colouring, say prior to coming to seeing you or, or as an alternative if they're just trying to get a sense of their own yes. colouring, is rather than looking at the, the seasonal thing, it's to look at the, am I warm or cool? Am I deeper or lighter? Am I more muted or softer in my colouring or am I brighter? That that's a more helpful way of looking at colour? Absolutely. The seasons was based on art and just how seasons look. Now, we live in Australia and you live in Queensland. Do you have an icy, cold, snowy winter? Yes, no. We, <laughs> not on record, no. And so, and if in Asia, they have wet and dry. So the season is very much a kind of European, North American based ideal anyway, yeah. where they have deciduous trees. We don't have them in Australia. So all those things don't really make sense about how the colours are created in the season. So it's much better just to look at the colour properties 
You go, what are my major color properties? If I had to have three major color properties, what are they? Yeah. So for me, I'm cool and deep, and I've got a level of brightness. Yeah. But you focus on those two, and and for me, it's warm and light, and I tend to slide on that scale of, of brightness to more muted colors, and I, I really use that one more in how I put my color 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 combinations together in my contrast, which we'll talk about in another video. But those two things of warm and lightness, they're my guides for the clothes yes. that I wear. And that's the most important for you. But somebody else, it might be the mutedness or the brightness first, yes. depending on what are their dominant color characteristics. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, that's been really helpful. It's really clarified for me how important it is to go beyond the four seasons and understand that there is a degree of complexity or sophistication to colour. And it's quite easy for people to, to understand those four uh, three concepts. Yes. And just to remember that your colouring changes. Yeah. And I've seen people go from warm to cool as they age, light, you know, dark to light or even light to dark. Yeah. You know, so all these things can change. So we're not static and it's something that's really important to remember that the colors I wore at 20 that really suited me aren't necessarily the colors that are great for me at 50. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we're going to explore color in a few more videos, yes. but this was a great place to start. Thanks, Jill. Yes.